Welcome back everyone to Learn Invitation. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 1495, okay? It says, the cylinder has a mass of 20 kilograms and it's released from rest when h is equal to zero. Determine its speed when h is equal to 3 meters. Each spring has a stiffness k equal to 40 newtons per meter and an unstretched length of 2 meters. Alright, so what do we have in here? Well, we got this cylinder and then it's attached by these two springs and when it's released, we want to know what's the velocity when this h is equal to 3 meters, okay? So that's basically our problem. So the first thing I like to do in this problem is, like always, just write out my givens. So we're given that the mass is equal to 20 kilograms. Then we're being told that when h is equal to 0, our cylinder is at rest. We're also being told that we want to know the speed when h is equal to 3 meters, okay? So knowing that, I'm going to call my first h1 and then the second one h2, okay? Those are the two points that we're going to be considering. They were given that the stiffness k of the springs are 40 newtons per meter. And it has an unstretched length, so I'm going to write it as L0 of 2 meters. Alright, so now after this, what I would like to do is kind of give a little drawing of what the position one will look like. Well, position one will look something like this. We have our strings until here. Then we have our cylinder and then we have our second spring. Okay, so that will be position one. And in order to solve this problem, well, we're going to utilize our chapter 14 equations and mainly our conservation of energy equation, let's put it here on the right, and I'm talking about this one, when we have that T1 plus potential 1 has to be equal to T2 plus potential at point 2, okay, and I have the equation for potential and each individual potential category in here. So, let's just start with this problem. Position 1 is uh, when we start in a rest, so therefore our T1 is equal to 0, okay, so T1 is equal to 0 plus the potential of 1. So in this problem, I'm going to consider this H to be my datum, okay? And that our H in that case was 0. Therefore, we don't have a Y distance with respect to our datum. And the springs are not being stretched because they are 2 meters away from it. And that's the land when it's unstretched, okay? Therefore, we don't have any potential either. Then our second point is going to be the velocity, the kinetic energy of my point two. Well, it will be kinetic energy is one half the mass, which is 20 kilograms, times the velocity squared. Well, we don't know the velocity. That's the one that we're trying to find. So we're going to leave it as velocity squared. And then we have plus, and then our potential for point two, well, we have to consider the potential for gravity and the potential for the elastic, meaning the springs, okay? So, let's just start with the potential of gravity. So, for gravity, we know that the weight of an object is the mass times acceleration, so gravity, times the height that we are ascending or descending. Well, in this case, we're descending 3 meters. That's what we're being told, right? So I'm going to put a negative 3 in here since we're going down. Uh, so that's our gravitational potential. Now we need to find our elastic potential. Well, okay, so we're going to follow the formula. We got plus, and then let me drag this a little bit, this one a little bit up, just so we have more space, and this one a little bit down. So we got one half, right, following the formula, times k, well, k is equal to 40, times s squared. Now, what is this s? S is the stretch length, not the unstretched length, it's the stretch length. So in order to know that, we need to know how much is this length over here. And we can do that by applying the Pythagorean theorem. We got the two adjacent and opposite sides of this triangle. So we know that this h is 3 that this adjacent is 2, therefore we need to find this L2, 
I'm going to call it L2, okay? So for L2, we're going to apply Pythagorean theorem, and this will be 2 squared plus 3 squared. This should be equal to, so we're going to utilize our calculator, and this gives me a total of 3.60555. Okay, I'm going to limit it to this amount of significant figures. So we have that amount of meters. And if our unstretched length is 2 meters, then the stretched amount is the difference between these two, meaning that we will have times 3.60555 minus 2 squared, okay? Now, this is the potential elastic energy of one of our springs, but we got two of them, right? So we did the potential for this one. What about this one over here? So due to symmetrical uh, geometries, we're going to have the same stretch Therefore, what we can say is that we can multiply this entire bracket by 2. So let me move it a little bit more to the right, and we're going to multiply it by 2. So if we do that, let's just start solving our problem. Then we have on the left side, 0 plus 0 will give me a 0, and then we will have 1 half 20, that gives me 10 v squared plus and we're going to multiply these numbers. So 20 times 9.81 minus uh, times negative 3 will give me a total of negative 588.6. Then we will have plus. And then if we multiply the number inside, so one second I do that, 3.6. We will get a total of 103. 11, uh, 112 then we're going to keep solving for velocity that means that we're going to have the velocity square will be equal to 588.6 positive minus 103.112 divided by 10 okay and we will check how much this is so we can do 588.6 minus my 103 divided by 10 gives me a total of 48.55 if we round it up. And finally, we just need to do the square root on both sides. So we'll have the square root of our 48.55. And when we plug that into our calculator, we will get a total of 6.55. 97 meters per second if we round it up to two decimal places. So this is our final answer. I hope you guys like the video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.